This short video is a summary of the intentions, methods and findings associated with my teaching development project. I wanted to use this project as an opportunity to investigate and explore an emerging issue that seemed to be increasingly prominent within my student body. At the same time, I wanted the accompanying reading I undertook to better align my understanding of graphic design within educational and professional contexts. It was to this end that I chose to focus on the notion of research in graphic design and my students' perception of this as an activity. I teach the first year of the BA Graphic Design course at Campbell College of Arts. This is a photograph of their studio. At the back of this studio, I have an office in which myself and two colleagues also run our professional practice. This close physical proximity and overlap of my two practices has fueled ongoing interest in theoretical ideas that bridge both education and practice, research and images being one key example. My project began with the observation that during mid-year assessments, not only was there an unusually noticeable lack of research present within my student submissions, but when questioned about research, there was a low level of understanding regarding the purpose and use of research within graphic design. Across all of the students within the year, whilst the average grade for all other marking criteria was a C, the average letter grade for research and subject knowledge was in fact a D. Intuitively, this felt like more of a problem when compared to previous years. I decided to try and gain a better insight into my students' approach to and perception of research in order to formulate possible positive changes to my future teaching. Via a focus group, I asked a group of eight first-year students to openly discuss 12 prompt questions. For example, what tools do you use to conduct research? Or, what does the term visual research mean to you? Once the results were compiled, I compared my students' responses with readings from relevant critical theory, as well as the advice of a selected critical friend. The results of my research project can be summarised in the following three key points. The use of online image sites can lead to surface-based research. All of the students interviewed pointed to Google or image hosting websites such as Tumblr as sources of inspiration. However, such websites, with their ability to reappropriate and decontextualise, encourage my students to use such images purely for their aesthetic worth. Many students believe that intuition is, has a big role in project development. This reversion back to Paul Rand's assertion that design is mostly intuition dramatically narrows the perception students have of their own learning experience. There is still a noticeable difference between conceptual research and practical research. Most of my students perceive contextual research as formulaic, straightforward and unhelpful, undertaken purely to tick boxes. This in turn is unhelpful in perpetuating the idea that education and academia are some way behind the intuition and creativity of professional practice. These three key points merely scratch the surface of the complex problem that is graphic design's relationship to research. Many courses and tutors take very different views on the value research should have within a BA course, and there are many who would be in complete agreement with my students. However, it is my belief that, having set out to explore my students' perceptions of research, I have discovered a narrow, limiting and surface-based perception of the value of research that limits self-development and expanding self-awareness in relation to other practitioners. My response to this is to resolve to embed research more deeply and clearly within my own teaching.